Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the energies can be reversed. It may or may not resonate with everybody. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave the information down below. Uh, let's hope we have a new storyline this time, because I know you Aquariuses have been getting a lot of like some like love triangle going on, so let's just hope... What is Aquarius' overall energy towards their person in this connection? What is Aquarius' overall energy towards their person in this connection? What is their overall energy towards Aquarius or to this person? We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Have some faith here. Have faith in your situation that things will work out for the best regardless. So what is this person's overall energy towards Aquarius in this connection? What is this person's overall energy towards Aquarius in this connection? We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So it could be your person might be feeling like things are just not balanced here. Um, maybe they feel like they care more about you than you care about them. So how does Aquarius view this connection with their person? How does Aquarius view this connection with their person? How does Aquarius view this connection with their person? Ooh, we have two of cups, so you feel very attracted to this person for sure. Um, you feel like this person could possibly be somebody who could be the one. This is a deep connection. When the two of cups shows up, this is something that is um, that goes very deep here. So you may feel that way when it comes to them. We have the queen of wands. That's fire energy, so could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo here. Or you could be embodying that type of energy. You could be somebody who's very confident. Ooh, very confident and somebody who people just look at as a wish fulfillment. The star card here. Um, and I feel like in this connection, what you're basically coming to a realization is that there's a decision that needs to be made here whether or not you're going to keep communication going and have a new beginning and allow things to basically grow and have the hope in this connection i feel like you're trying to stay hopeful when it comes to this but you're losing your patience here and with the six of pentacles um i feel like you're needing to make a decision whether or not you want to give to this relationship anymore this connection and if it's even worth it, tell me about the star. You're losing your head here. You might, you're like going a little crazy over this. Um, I feel like because you could have been patient for a very long time. And now that you're being called to even stay more patient, like it's really putting you in your head here. Um, you might be losing sleep, but you're going a little bit crazy over here. And I feel like you're losing the hope. You're losing hope when it comes to this person. Let's see what your person's overall energy, how they view this connection with Aquarius. How do they view this connection with Aquarius? How do they view this connection with Aquarius? How do they view this connection with Aquarius? Three of Wands. Here we go again with the three people. <laughs> the World card. Okay, okay. We're we're moving up though. We're graduating. Eight of Cups. So your person here. They have made a decision. Okay, they have made a decision that they basically want to end a cycle and have a new beginning here with the world card and I feel like this person sees you 
as their world here and because you are showing up as a star and on their side they have the world here so you could be somebody who has a lot of friends you could be somebody who could be like a public figure in the public eye maybe you have a youtube channel like me um we have like eight of cups so your person um either they see you as walking away or they're the ones walking away from this connection i feel like for most of you it's this person walking away here because they're the ones that have made the decision with the three of wands tell me about the eight of cups so third party situation okay this is making sense so your person is having a hard time walking away because um, they're having a hard time healing from this, from this heartbreak here that has to do with you. And I feel like they just keep replaying it in their mind over and over again. Like they're trying to have a new beginning here, but at the same time, like they're really in their feelings about you. They're really hurt over whatever this third party is. It doesn't it could be a lover it could be a, like a mother or father figure it could even be a friend that got in the way of this connection here but your person is wanting to walk away but they're having a hard time I feel like they just keep looking back here because they see you as a world as the world they see you as their world here and they're they just keep looking back and but they're trying to heal from you um, but I feel like your person feels like you don't um, you don't feel the same way Tell me about the Three of Wands. Guys, we got the Three of Swords again. They are hurt. This is confirmation. Your person is really hurt. And, um, yeah, they're getting some type of clarity. So maybe they found out that you had other people here in this picture. But they're getting some type of clarity when it comes to a decision. They really do want to talk to you. And they, I feel like they want to talk to you about the fact that they want to have a new beginning here they want to have a reset and they want to move forward into greener grass over here so how does Aquarius feel towards this connection with their person how does Aquarius feel towards this connection with their person how does Aquarius feel towards this connection with their person feel like you need to move on six of swords king of swords but you still want to talk you want to have some type of uh, closure communication or you might just want to cut this person off completely yeah <laughs> you want to cut this person off and you're distancing yourself um you feel like it's time to basically move on here because you're losing patience at this point um no communication has been had and I feel like you're just losing your shit here when it comes to this person and like you want to talk to them but at the same time you feel like it's time for you to just move on and distance yourself and just kind of be alone have time to be alone maybe you want to break from this person tell me about the king of swords nine of pentacles yeah some of you guys um you're going to be communicating the fact that you just want to be single or you want to talk about um basically somebody maybe this person wants to be single you want to talk about that like why can't we just move forward um but you feel like you're you feel like you need to move on in order for you to have your self-respect in this situation uh, even though it is a burden to you and it is hard for you to do so how does this person feel towards Aquarius in this connection We, oh, we got another one. We got another six of swords here. So your person is also feeling like they need to move on from this. So you're both kind of feeling like this is a lost cause. Like, even though you both want a new beginning, or at least your person does, um, they feel like it's a lost cause. And they're, they, they're watching you. They're watching you with the page of swords, like, almost every day. And I feel like they're watching you move on from them. So if you're talking to other people and you're moving on, your person is seeing that. And they're trying to manifest you into their life with the magician. Um, they feel like in this connection, like maybe there was some type of manipulation involved. Tell me about the magician. 
and I feel like it has to do with communication because there's a lot of swords here so a lot of um like somebody could have just been mentally like manipulating them and at least that's how your person is feeling like they feel like um you manipulated them and you were sneaky you lied um you, you backstabbed them in the end here uh your person feels like you basically left them out to die essentially and um you were the one that was in the seven of swords energy that's how they're feeling you know don't kill the messenger here that's that's how they're feeling so what actions will Aquarius most likely take towards this person? What actions will Aquarius most likely take towards this person? We have the Ten of Wands. The High Priestess and two of swords so i feel like you're you're going to start to listen to your intuition more when it comes to this person here um i feel like you're not making any type of movements you're not making a decision you're you're sitting still you're not taking any forward action here the only action i see you taking is basically i i, just, I see you moving on like i see you even though like you know, it, you have a lot of feelings for them and you feel like um, you have a lot of attraction. You're losing faith in this. You're losing the hope and faith when it comes to this connection. And you feel like you need to move on because you've been putting in a lot of work here. Or you want to put, maybe you want to put in more work at, the, at this point. But you're not taking any actions. Like, I feel like if you were to take actions towards this person it's going to be really on and off here like one minute you're going to be putting in effort and then the other minute you're just going to kind of sit back what actions will this person take most likely towards Aquarius I feel like you're going to communicate though you're going to you're gonna like communicate some type of secret that you could have had with this from the or maybe this is something your person doesn't know your person they honestly they feel like they need you in their life they want to work things out with you but at this point they're just waiting they're just watching and waiting with the seven of pentacles and temperance but they 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 are going to work things out with you when the timing is right here um, because they want to give you an offer they want to offer you some type of commitment when the timing is right here so um, I do feel like this is something that they're going to end up offering you but for some of you like you might not trust this offer or your person doesn't know if a hundred percent if this is what they should be doing so tell me about the high priestess we have the eight of cups it came out reversed so i do feel like you're gonna end up uh your intuition is basically telling you to kind of go back here and your first i don't know like your intuition is like telling you to go back but at the same time you're just you're moving forward you're moving forward and you're losing i feel like it all has to like do with like the hope and faith you have into the situation here because again we have third party but your person is seeing you as the one that put them in this third party here and again the energies can be reversed because this is a, a, a general reading but tell me about the two of swords ace of pentacles so yeah your person's coming in with an offer and you're not making any decisions here you're not making any decision when it comes to taking this offer or not you're just like you don't you, for some of you you don't even see it coming like you're not seeing this coming it's gonna hit you out of nowhere 
and then you're just going to kind of be all over in your head. You're going to be scared and feared, not knowing what to do. You have to sit, you have to make a decision and you, you're not in the place yet to make that decision. You're looking for a sign. Um, you need time to be alone, time to think. I feel like you're just distancing yourself at this point. Tell me about the, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Empress, your person, they want something long term with you. Like your person sees you as an empress here. They see you as the world. They they want to have this beginning with you. Even though they have been hurt in this situation, um, they are willing to give it another shot. Tell me about temperance. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want something solid, something stable and secure here. And they're willing to give it to you. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Sun. Yeah, yeah, your person is going through a major awakening when it comes to you. And um, they feel abandoned by you. They feel like everything it has been crashing down. And they're also losing hope at this point. They feel like you don't care. Yeah, your person feels like you don't care about them. But no, don't kill a messenger. I'm just saying they feel like... They feel like you just left them out in the cold. I'm going to get some clarifiers. So this is somebody's reading. So, any clarifiers that so this is somebody's reading? Clarifiers that this is somebody's reading. Any clarifiers? We have friendship. So you guys could have been friends or you are friends. Some you guys could have had a strong bond with each other. Somebody could wear like a ring. family it could be a family friend this could be a family friend or somebody who you've known for a long time and then we have travel so maybe you met this person while traveling or I'm also kind of getting this could be a long distance like thing between you guys somebody could live by water or some somewhere near like the palm trees gossip yeah um, somebody was like talking in someone's ear or you were you found out something you found out something through gossip here. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. And let me know if it resonated for you guys. And thank you for watching. Bye.